Hi everyone, Mike here. Uh, today I decided to make a quick video showing my knife collection as of March 22nd, 2013. The knife collection is actually going to be changing in a couple hours because I have a new knife arriving today. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about it later, but just check the tracking number and it is out for delivery from my post office. So, always exciting when you track things and you see they're coming. So we'll just go and go down the line. Um, like I said, we have a variety of knives here I picked up mostly in the past year or couple years. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. So first we're gonna start off right here with the Sog Aegis Digital Camo. And I got this one a couple weeks ago and it's absolutely fantastic. Um, main thing is lightweight, size of the blade, and I think this is around three ounces, maybe three and a half ounces. I'm not going to give full descriptions of the specs for any of these. You can look them up yourselves. And pretty much this video is just going to be my initial opinions of the knives. Some of them I've used a little bit. Some of them are still pretty new and haven't really used too much. So just my initial impressions. So take it for what it's worth. So this one right here, the SOG Aegis, um, so far fantastic. I have loved SOG. It was one of the first upper end knives I've ever bought. I don't know if $50, $60 can be really considered upper end, but it's more, more than what you would buy at a cheap flea market. So SOG has been my brand, and this is my newest SOG, and I just fell in love with it. Things I like about it, obviously, the SOG assisted technology is just extremely fast, extremely easy. You can't beat that. Lock up, absolutely perfect. It was a little loose when I first bought it, but I just used a torque screw thing and tightened it up a little and it's fine. Didn't really affect how fast it came out. It did affect the centering of it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. And actually, while I'm at it, I'm just going to apologize for the camera angle and the sound quality. Uh, as you'll be able to see, this is my first YouTube video that doesn't involve my dog. So maybe I'll be able to buy a tripod instead of using a Tupperware bin with some glasses to hold up the camera. So I apologize for that. So the centering's a little off, but it, you know, it doesn't rub, so it really doesn't bother me. Other things I like about this knife and SOG in general is the bayonet clip. Deep carry, very easy to get in and out of your pants. Uh, some of these, the clips are so tight where it'll tear up my uh, pant pocket, which isn't a big deal, but it's just, I was spoiled by this because like I said, SOG was one of the first knives that I bought and any, nothing else compares to this in my opinion. It's just great and the concealability, as you can see, it goes all the way down. I don't know if SOG has a patented on this, but I think more knives should start doing that. Great knife. Uh, all of these are a little dirty. My hands are greasy and sweaty, which is disgusting, but great knife. <clears throat> Next we're going to go on to the CRKT Argos. So this knife I got about three or four weeks ago. I just bought it one night. I think I was drinking a little and decided, hey, don't have a CRKT. Nothing fancy. Did a good uh, booth review at the SHOT Show. I think it was 2013. Didn't really know too much about the company until then. Looked it up. I wanted a small mm, pocket knife. Pretty much more for show. This is labeled as a gentleman's folder. And to tell you the truth... I haven't even used this for anything yet. It's essentially new in the box. So, um, initial impressions of it, really cool looking. It's for, for what it is. Um, Got to get used to the flipper. There's This is not assisted in any means. It uses, I think, ball bearings in there. So, you just got to kind of get that. But it's extremely quick when, once you get used to it. Extremely sharp uh, out of the box. It's actually one of the sharpest ones I've ever had and extremely pointy. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but this tip is very delicate, so I wouldn't even recommend doing anything with that tip. And for the most part, I wouldn't even use this knife for anything 
um, other than cutting some string or maybe a little paper or something like that, but it's just really nice. So things I like about it, very lightweight. Uh, in fact, I don't know if you can even say this, not, not in fancy my cringe, but it's a little too lightweight for my, my taste. Uh, I just like, this is about a one and a half ounces, and I think it's under two. I like things about three ounces, back to SOG. And so this is just, uh, I forget it's in my pocket, which I kind of know that that's what you want it to be, but I like to feel a little bulk, maybe the, because the size of it is so small. Uh, is another reason that so maybe if like something this big like what width wise and everything was as light as this I would like it but it's just a little too small but other than that I love the knife um, the steel quality is pretty good I forget the exact name of it I think it's some Japanese steel or something like that um, things I don't like about this knife the clip You can only do a tip down carry, which I prefer a tip up carry for everything. So everything else you'll pretty much see here is a tip up carry. I think a lot of CRKTs you really can't adjust, and I really don't know why. I mean, especially you buy in, you know, an over a hundred dollar knife, they should give you a lot more options. Uh, this one, uh, I mean, you that you pull it out of your pocket, you kind of got to adjust it in your hand to get it out. Um, yeah, it, it just doesn't feel that great, and how small it is, it's hard to fumble it in your hand. So I knew all of this before I bought bought the knife, so it's nothing new. Uh, liner lock, as you can see there, I think it's titanium. Oh, this is titanium, I think it's something with a titanium but the molecular feature can bond to the steel, so it's a tighter, yeah, whatever. It's it's metal on metal. It's going to hold. Um, but overall, I mean, I like this for what it is. Um, more of a formal occasion carry knife. For example, tonight I'm going to a wedding. I plan to wear this. Um, hopefully I won't lose it. So, good collectible. High collectability. Next we have here is the um, it's Gerber. I tell you the truth, I don't even know the model of it. It wasn't bought by me. It was bought by my wife as uh, a present, a present on her wedding day. I mean, that was actually pretty pretty cool of her to do this. Um, obviously, she doesn't know too much about knives because she just went to Walmart and bought a Gerber. Um, things I like about it. I mean, it does have the assisted opening. Uh, not as smooth as any SOG. This weighs a lot. I'd say it's about over five ounces. The clip is extremely tight. Um, it takes you know, a second to get it in your pants. I mean, I could loosen it up a little bit, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Uh, Tanto style, personally, I wouldn't not buy one of those, but like I said, my wife didn't really know the difference. Um, it's solid in your hand, so it feels good. I really like this grit, glass breaker, or whatever you want to call it at the bottom. Yeah. Wobbles a little. I haven't even attempted to tighten this up. It's it's not my favorite knife uh, by any means. It's extremely heavy. And I apologize, the dog's in the background playing with the toy, so just bear with me. Traction's a little slippery. Uh, serrations, you know, some people don't like serrations, some people do. I go either way. I mean, whatever looks better in a knife. I mean, I don't hard use any of these knives, so I go either way with serrations. Serrations on a Tanto, eh, whatever, it's fine. But for the price of this, it's really not worth it. I think at Walmart, um, and I'll get to this in a second, you get the Sog Trident for around the same price, and the Sog Trident is such a better knife. So, uh, here's a new one I got, um, Zero Tolerance 350 in Tiger Stripes. I like this knife. Um, I like it more as a collectible than really usefulness, I guess. It's not, really not that useful. Uh, watch the Nut and Fancy review on it. He hits the nail on the head there. It's heavy heavy 
the blade is very small. This one is serrated uh, just because I like the way it looked. Um, I forget the exact ounce on it, maybe five or six. But, um, I mean, I do like it. Liner lock. Uh, the clip I haven't even used too much yet. Um, it looks a little tight, but it doesn't maybe it'll loosen up and it won't be too bad. Um, razor sharp out of the box. This is my first zero tolerance knife. Uh, pretty impressed with it. Um, didn't have to tighten it up. Lock up is rock solid. Uh, two ways to deploy this, really, um, there's the thumb studs on both sides and then the flipper on the back. Uh, the thumb studs, they work most of the time. They work, and but it's kind of hard getting your hand in there. I think like the studs are very short. Um, I don't know if you'd be able to see that at all, but you kind of got to put your thumb in on an angle to get to it. But it does deploy quickly that way. But I prefer the flipper method, as I think most people on YouTube do. Just do that. Um, after playing with it for a while, after you click, you rub on this uh, jumping here, and you mess up your hand a little, but no big deal there. Liner lock, like I said, it's solid. Love the tiger stripes. Um, it's one of the things, first thing I saw uh, when I noticed this knife is the tiger stripes, um, and it just looked really cool, but drew my attention to it. So. Uh, so far, it's, it's a good knife. It's solid. Like I said, it's more something I would like to show my friends than to carry. Alright, going up to the top row now. This thing, I don't know what it is. My parents were in Alaska. They bought it for me. A pocket Yuli. U. U. L. U. Perhaps I should have did some research before completing this review, but... It was a gift. My parents were up in Alaska, and they know I like knives, so they brought it home to me. It might be have some to do with some kind of fishing liner lock. I don't know how it got dis um, discolored there. Like I said, this has been sitting in my drawer for a couple years, and I completely forgot about it through the other uh, weeks. It's hard to get the liner in. Mainly because it's stupid rain here I should take off. Not easy to open by any means, but eh, it's a gift. You can't complain. Don't know how much my parents paid for it. If they paid over 10 bucks, I'd not be happy with them. But whatever. It's in the collection, so I'll show it. I'm going to skip over one. And uh, speaking of junk, this was something I think my dad bought me at a flea market. I would say... 15 to 20 years ago when I was when I was very young Couldn't tell you the brand it has a eagle on it And it's pure junk Stainless steel China is pretty much the only thing it says when I was a kid I think I broke the plastic clip off uh, serrated edge completely serrated edge Ain't nothing fancy would like it. There's uh, no steel liners. There you go. All right, back to this one, and this is now my new favorite knife out of them all, Spyderco Tenacious. This is actually my first Spyderco. Um, saw the reviews. Saw the reviews on YouTube. Everyone had nothing but good things to say about it. For the price and the quality you get from it, you just can't can't beat it. Um, beautiful. Like I said, uh, I'm actually hooked on Spider Co. And my next one that's coming in the mail today, what do you know? It's going to be a Spider Co. A Spider Co. Delica actually is in the mail today. So I'm excited to get that. But so for the Tenacious, that wasn't the best opening feature, but just a beautiful knife. Razor sharp. Cut myself a couple times. My brother was playing with it a couple weeks ago. I think he probably should have went to the hospital to get stitches. Um, yeah, it's uh, we're stupid for playing with it and cutting ourselves, but it's just so much fun to open once you get good at it. 
And that's another thing which really I really like this knife. I mean, I, as you see, I'm a fan of the SOG assisted technologies and the assisted openers. But this, you know, it takes a little bit of skill to open. You know, with anybody with you know, 20 minutes, 20 minutes of time can practice and get it right. But it's just cool to, you know, you give it to someone who doesn't know. And, you know, all they can do is this. So a little bit of practice, do that. I like my middle finger. Yeah, I could do it with the thumb too. All kinds of videos on how to open it. I actually had to watch them just to figure it out and make sure I was, you know, doing it right or figure out the best way to do it. Um, a great knife. Um, used it around the house, opening packages and cutting a couple things. So, so far, so good. This right here, mentioned it before, Sog Trident. This was actually the first, you know, over five dollar knife I ever bought. And it's just fantastic. Assisted opening, parsley serrated blade, tiger striping, which I said before I love, big handle. Uh, you know, the handle is very unproportional to the blade height, but I like that. My hands are about medium sized, so I mean, it fits, fits perfectly. Good grip. Um, Banat clip again, which I mentioned before in Aegis. I just love this clip. This one's actually you know, a couple years old and still opens like it's brand new. A little bit of wiggle room. I actually have to tighten tighten this up, and I'm, I'm assuming it, it would be fine after that. Love this knife. And then onto this one. I bought this for uh, camping and backpacking. Um, actually taking a trip up the Maine in a couple months and doing some camping up there, so I'm excited to bring this. It is the SOG Seal Pup Elite. And as you can see, it is brand new. Have not has not been used pretty much for anything yet. Maybe I cut paper with it to see how sharp it is. I like it. Um, can't give a great opinion on it because I haven't used it too much lately. But all the reviews say nothing but good things about it. Um, good size handle for me, like that. Don't know why they didn't put um, jumping here. Would have been nice because I like that. But this is up here. But you can see how you gotta extend your thumb. So right here would have been a little nicer. Once again, I went with the parsley serrated just because. I mean, you have probably two and a half, three inches of um, regular blade there. It's a good knife. Sheath is very good as well. Um, I'm actually surprised by the quality of the sheath. A lot of people complained how, how it felt cheap, and th there's all kinds of sheets. It's actually hard to tell which one you're going to get when you order it on the internet. Uh, but it's the Kydex one, and it's just rock hard and solid. Fits in there good. I have been able to get it to fall out like that, but I mean, I'm, nothing that's going to fall out when you're hiking or walking or whatnot belt loop here, put it on. I plan to, you know, put it on my backpack upside down on my left side. Pull like that. But uh, initial impressions, uh, all good so far. So I can't, I can't wait to use it when I get camping. Hi everyone, that's uh, my knife collection as of now. Like I said, I am getting a new Spyderco Delica in the mail, hopefully in a couple hours. So um, I'll put an initial impression thought on that. And I apologize for the quality of the video, the bad sound, the dog running in the background. Um, I need a tripod. And let me just show you my uh, tripod here so you can laugh at me. I got the camera set right in here between two glasses. And this is where we store our dog food. Yeah, so maybe I'll get a better setup. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Feel free to comment in the um, comment section. And let me know what you think. And feel free to make fun of me for my first crappy YouTube video. Thanks.